For American troops fighting from Africa to the Middle East, 2018 started out deadly. Sergeant First Class Mihail Golan was born in Latvia, became an American citizen, and died in Afghanistan on New Year's Day. One of 13 Americans killed in combat in Afghanistan, including Major Brent Taylor, a father of seven and the mayor of his town in Utah, the victim of an apparent insider attack. Killed by the very Afghans he was trying to train. I love you, honey. Stay strong. Dedicated to helping others. It just keeps coming back to service to God, family, and country. They're one to him. The deadliest single incident of the year took place in Iraq when a special operations Pave Hawk helicopter crashed at night, killing all seven aboard, including two New York City firefighters. Christopher Tripp Zanitas and Lieutenant Christopher Raguzzo, who was remembered for his service. The guy just loved to save and help people, and that's what he did. A total of nine Americans died while fighting ISIS in Syria and Iraq, part of a global fight against extremism that also took the life of 26-year-old Sergeant Alexander Conrad in Somalia. In all, 23 Americans lost their lives in four countries this year. Their lives and their love leaving behind holes impossible to fill but examples for all. I'm going to want to look out for people like if I see someone sitting alone at lunch or anything, I just want to help everyone. Hans Nichols, NBC News, the Pentagon. Hey, NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.